around your heart and spirit. And you have told us the truth. May we exercise the truth. Heavenly Father, we thank you. And the joy of God.
the ministers welcome to Jerusalem Baptist Church because this is a church where everybody is somebody in the Christ is all. We consider it a privilege to have you worship with us today, and I'm sure you'll get the best from this service. We hope when you walk in, you feel a peace that passes all understanding. If you're looking for a church home, we extend an invitation to be a part of our church family. It is our desire to be a friendly accommodation so in the name of Jesus, I do say well. Printing on the back of your program, don't forget, it's not too late to sign up for the all sponsors, even though the opportunity is over, the scholarship fund will accept, the committee will accept the funds. September the 18th, and the missionary circle will be 1 p.m. in the conference room. Mm -hmm. Friday the 20th, Living Healthy Workshop here at the church from 10 to 12 30. And September the 21st and 20, 20, 20 and 21st, the Royal Baptist Association Wellness Conference, and that will be in Wilson Center. September the 27th, Minister Dr. Watkins will be the homecoming speaker at Cameron Presbyterian Church at 2.30. And then on the 29th, South Carolina Royal Missionary will be the same service, will be at Antioch, and that's at 2.30, Reverend Anthony Davis and Shady Grove is in charge of the service. On today, Artist Chapel will be celebrating their homecoming and revival, and the service this afternoon starts at 2.30 with the Reverend Timothy Bates as pastor, the speaker. Then, services every night, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, a different speaker every night, and this starts at 7 p.m. Again, Artist Chapel, Amy's Island Church, and um, that's just right off the hill over here, so they're expecting us to participate in <coughs>
reach out to uh, Sister Morgan, Sister Hope, Sister Abel, uh, Inky Abel, excuse me. Um, please um, donate to the scholarship. It's for our youth. Yes, I for me, Lord. Keep you off the job for you. You know what I mean? Yes. So it's for our youth for higher education. But thank y'all again so much. Thank you, Pastor. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all for what you do for Jerusalem Baptist Church Scholarship Tournament. Oh. 
all along a little bit. I just want to make a reminder that that time is available for you to come in and call them for prayer and we share it at the hours. So please feel free to get over to all of us. Uh, the access goes to the numbers to dial on the program. Amen. Uh, so please take advantage of the opportunity that we can share in that together. We will thank you for your to the Lord as done. It's time.
persecuted, but not abandoned. Yep. Struck down, but not destroyed. Right. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may be revealed in our body. But we who are alive are always being given over to death for Jesus to say, so that his life may also be revealed in our mortal body. So then death is at work in us, but life is at work in you. God's will is with our people after a song of preparation to talk to us from the subject. Sight is the God who suffers. Sight is the God who suffers. Amen.
Columbus has to turn on the television and listen to some, to some of the hateful rhetoric that is being promoted and, and turned out in any given week and any given time. And when we say that this world is in trouble. Amen. God loves it just didn't start like it was us. There's one individual by the name of the Apostle Paul that wrote this letter to the Corinthian church time when they were in trouble. You see, Paul was a persecutor of the Christian church early on until he was converted. Many of the things he did on behalf of the Jewish leaders in order to show them that this Christ movement would have no way. But then when he was converted, the Lord changed him. He began to go to the other side and began to work on the Lord's behalf. But my beloved, what we soon discover is that when we work on the Lord's behalf, then it does not come without a price. It does not come without inconveniences. It does not, does not come without some suffering. It does, does not come without some people looking at you funny with crosses, eyes, and, and with contempt in their heart. When you do what thus say the Lord, you're going to encounter some difficulty. Have a 
that we have and, and, and are trying to find a better way of life and trying to escape uh, torment and torture and all these other things that are inhumane and try to come to a land where they can be free. Ah. <coughs> have what all of us desire to have. So we've got to cut out all the meanness and learn how to deal effectively with all the folk. I just wish I had somebody to pray.
feel we don't need to give up. Oh, somebody here today knows that the Lord brought you. Oh, my God. 
see the mirror later. Yeah. Myself and age is past. Yeah. My hope for all of the world. Does yeah. so anybody you know what I'm talking about? I see past. Awesome. Yeah. And I see Jesus. Yeah. Can't you see? Yeah. Can't you see him coming? Who is coming for you and I? Can't you see him in the time of trouble? David said, that's when he hides.
For these and all the blessings we ask and we pray. In Jesus' name. Let the people of God say. Amen. God bless you. We ask that you join hands with you are all across the place. To prepare for our final benediction. Let the church.